This is one of my favorite gardens. This is our water garden that shows the two principal water sources in the Chihuahuan Desert, other than, of course, the Rio Grande. It's kind of hard to show the Rio Grande plant community on less than two acres. But we can show a desert seep spring and the most common source of water for wildlife, tinajas or huecos, which are rainfall catchment basins. There's no groundwater involved, whereas the seep spring is usually fed by groundwater. We don't have very many splashy, showy fountains like uh, springs in the Chihuahuan Desert. We just have these little muddy seeps, but they're very important to wildlife. And then the Tanaha, like at Waco Tanks State Park, or in the southern end of the Oregons, there's a n number of wonderful little Tanahas, places where rainfall collects and then is protected by, from evaporation by the boulders and by the surrounding foliage that feed off of the, uh, off the water that's preserved there. Two of the common plants that you find around Tanahas are the desert hackberry, the canyon hackberry, uh, and the coyote willow along with things like blue weed and the uh, cattail. The beautiful little uh, gentian is called Texas bluebell and it's also common like around the springs in White Sands uh, National Monument but unfortunately it's an annual and it's not commercially available as a bedding plant but you can grow it from seed. The beautiful yellow flower is Tacoma stands, called yellow bells or Esperanza in, in Mexico. And we are at its northernmost range. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know of no other uh, populations of this beyond the Robledo Mountains, just north of Las Cruces. And it is an exceptionally fine landscape plant, blooming all summer long with these large yellow flowers. Sila and Sisa is the little white ground cover uh, in the rocks there. And uh, this particular plant was collected uh, near Mesilla along the Rio Grande. It's found a lot, along a lot of the drainage ditches. And in the last few years, it's been commercially available for Mountain States growers in Phoenix. So you might find it at your local nursery. It dies to the ground in the wintertime. You just mow it and it comes right back in the spring.